Okay, so this is my second blue hike. I, d I didn't get any blues to speak of. I did get a really cool piece of petrified wood. I washed it in the dishwasher. It's a really nice piece. Just brown, kind of shiny. I've never found one of these in the blue fields. Kind of a trip to me. Anyway, so we got some like gem gray. It's definitely a gray stone. There's some crystalline content. It's kind of dark on that one side. Be kind of nice to have. A... a flashlight. So we can glass it. I mean, you can see that the light does clearly travel all the way through it, but it is pretty much a dark gray. Now, so a lot of these are agates. Here's another one that's kind of got a stripe. Another kind of a big field egg. Just kind of showing these before I dump them into my gravel outside. A lot of these little ones that end up with like anyway. Here's an, another another kind of an agate. It's like a white agate. You've got the matrix on the outside. You know, you can definitely tell there's a lot of crystalline content in the agate, so it's very white. Just another gray. This one has some mild coloring in it. This might be a blue chip. Just really, really light. might keep that piece so you know flip some of these around you definitely see some stuff like this you've got the crystals here we go you've got crystals on the top kind of crystalline content this is towards the outside of the rock a lot of gem grays Call them gem grays. This has kind of got a little bit of color in it. Not much. It's pretty much just clear. I might keep them for a specimen rock. I find a lot of these. These are really weird. They're kind of a weird little agate. They're not a blue. They've kind of got some minerals in them. Find a lot of those. When you're in the field, Sure look blue. Again, I'm going with not a blue, but yeah, there we go. I think I even found, I'm not sure if I found the crystal in this one or not. My son carried out that petrified wood. I just can't believe I found one of those. Oh. These are good to look at. Another field egg. The roads on Red Top Mountain are covered in these. And with that red dirt around them, it makes them look like they're blue. Here's a really good agate. Definitely got some of that red mud on it. Just kind of, let's see if I can focus in on that. Trying to get it for you in the camera. Okay, got that muddy side on that side, and should kind of another kind of a crystal layer. And now it's really common to find blues that look like that. I mean, if you can find blues, which isn't common. So, oh yeah, 
This is the one I was going to show. This is a piece of crystal. Just a weird little piece of crystal. I'll probably keep it because I just I kind of like crystals, but it's really small. N another piece of just agate. And, the, and there's chips of agates all over this stuff. Here we go. Definitely got the formation on the outside. You can see this on, and, and agates would be blue, but these are not blue. This is white, clear, not a blue. Certainly is neat. I do like agates. A lot of these are going to probably be thrown in my gravel. I'm going to zoom in. See if we can pan around these blues. Well, I mean, excuse me, not blues, these field oddities. That's what I meant to call them. So work in the zoom. And a lot of these have, have lots of dirt all over them when you get them. And so it's definitely confusing. I don't know. The elevation's at 3,000 feet. I don't know if that plays into it. But... There really isn't anything that blue in here, so maybe that really light, but it's it's not really that much. I'm using the cutting board. I figured this would work out better. My computer desk is all covered with 3D printing stuff, so yeah, kind of got some crystal in. There's an agate. Sometimes you'll have a kind of a blue skin. So they look at. That's what they look like. So. Hike number two of 2020. This is a couple weeks ago, and skunked completely. Did not find anything. Not well, not blues anyway. But never got a piece of petrified wood out of the field before. I thought that was really weird.